Hey everyone, Roger here from Asset Car Experts YouTube channel. If you own a BMW with a four cylinder, you need to get your timing chain test done before it's too late. In this video, I'm gonna outline the details of the class action lawsuit that BMW has related to the four cylinder engine N20 and N26. I'm also gonna give you a brief synopsis of what the repair entails and what BMW is gonna check. Now there's a lot of rules and deadlines, so make sure to watch this entire video or contact me at my website, www.asthecarexperts.com and hit the contact me tab and send me your information. I need the last seven of your VIN and your mileage and I could help determine if you are going to be eligible for this class action. These are the components in question, the timing chain guides where and the chiming chain can stretch and the, the guides can break. And then this oil chain sprocket can wear and cause slack. And slack in either of these components or wear cause premature failure and can lead to engine damage. Not surprisingly, you can actually purchase a timing chain kit off of Amazon in case your timing chain does fail and you're out of the class action lawsuit. I'll put a link to the timing chain pump drive and chiming chain kit in the description box if you're interested and need to purchase this. Now this is important. Up until June 29th, 2022, regardless of age of your vehicle, you can have the class action benefit for the timing chain up to 100,000 miles. Anything past that and the timing chain class action does not apply to your car, unfortunately. All right, let's go over the vehicles. X1, X3, X4, Z4, 328, 228. Anything with the 28 designation engine, which would be the N20 or the N26. Now, the N26 is a Sulev, so there could be some additional warranties on the Sulev engine. Now, I'll take some time to list all of the vehicles on a screenshot so you can pause it and just take a look to see if your vehicle falls within this range. Now the class action, unfortunately, is only for the U.S. market, District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico. Additionally, vehicles produced after 3-1 of 2015 are also excluded. Alright, here's some more stipulations. If you have a salvage vehicle, or you swap the engine, or the mileage cannot be determined, it kills the coverage, which kind of sucks. It doesn't even matter if that engine came from a vehicle that was covered, if it doesn't match the engine serial number, which BMW can check, and it has to be reported to them with a picture, then it won't be covered. So what's the reasoning? Class action states that a timing chain module or oil pump drivetrain module is defective. Now BMW denies any fault. I have my own opinion on why the timing chains fail and the oil chain sprocket fails prematurely, which leads to the timing chain guides breaking it is from improper maintenance. Um, BMW does have long oil change intervals. I mean, I would recommend to shorten your oil change intervals to about 5,000. That's completely up to you. You can do the recommended manufacturer oil changes. However, a clean engine is a healthy engine. I would have to say most of the vehicles that I've seen fail actually had some kind of oil change history where there was a missed oil change or a lengthy spell went by before an oil change was performed. Usually when you're taking apart the engine, you do find gunk and signs of improper maintenance. Speaking of improper maintenance, if you don't have a good service record that is traceable and you have a higher mileage car with a failure, and let's just say the timing change led to an engine failure, BMW could deny the claim if you don't have a history or record of oil changes on hand because they would just say it's improper maintenance. So unfortunately, it also kills the deal. Here's a word of warning, you only get one time benefit. So if you go in and you have your engine tested and it passes today, and in a week it fails, you don't get the benefit. So there's some cautionary steps that you have to watch out for, and I will go over that in a few minutes. So what do these benefits give you? Um, they're going to scan the car and run a test. They might have to update your vehicle software. There's a mechanical test that's done, screwing a probe into the side of the oil filter housing. It listens for frequency, and depending on the frequency generated from your engine at a certain RPM range, it will either pass or fail the timing chain. It may also have an inconclusive result, which means that manual inspection has to be performed. 
Now manual inspection is going to involve taking a bore scope and going down the oil fill cap with it removed. We're going to check inside and we're going to take a look at the timing chain guides and a lot of times you can actually find a guide that's broken and hence that gives some of that noise when you rev the car or you start it cold you hear like a whining noise and I have a video on that noise that you can check out. Now if an engine develops excessive noise or you have an oil pressure warning comes on what happens is the guides have broken and they've gotten to the oil pickup. So there's the pickup tube and the oil sump and those pieces have gotten into the pickup and they're blocking the oil. So at that point your oil pressure warning will come on and usually engine damage has already resulted at that point. Now depending on what is found BMW is going to replace the timing chain kit and the pump guide kit and sprocket or if your engine is damaged they will replace your engine but there's a catch. There's always a catch it is prorated depending on the age and the mileage of your vehicle. All right, so refer back to the beginning where I gave you that list. If you're out of the production range and you're less than 100,000 miles, you should get your vehicle checked before June 29th, 2022. If you don't, you get no benefit from this. At least you can have a skilled BMW technician or master technician do this test and make sure if your engine is good and you could get some value out of this even if you're higher mileage if you need an engine and BMW is going to give you 25 percent I'd rather take that 25 percent now if your vehicle is within the eight years from the in-service date then you might want to wait a little bit and then schedule a few months before to get your engine tested. That's really the game that you can play on your end as long as you're below the 100,000 because you only get a one-time benefit. Remember, if you go in today and you pass and it fails three months from now, you get no extra coverage. So I'm going to give you the full scale and BMW's matrixes coming up and I will outline what the coverages are and what you would expect to pay and what BMW may pay depending on the result. Now if you have any questions, reach out to me either by posting a comment or reach out to me on my website at www.askthecarexperts.com. Click on the contact me, fill out your information. I would need first name preferable, um, your last seven of your VIN and your mileage and I can do a quick check on your car to see if you're eligible for these benefits. Please subscribe to Ask Car Experts YouTube channel for more great BMW and general automotive repair information and lots of great tips.